high lows. This is gonna be good here. That's gonna be and that's gonna enable their chase down. So they need one fast assassin here in order to chase. Probably a Kufra. A high lows and a Kufra might be good, but they already have Chodo. Hmm. Couple more seconds. Export. Farsa. Oh. Oh. That's a gamble. Oh, and Ignite gets Auto the link. Auto lock on the link. This is not good. May, are, I, maybe Gozu baited that out. Maybe Gozu knew that Ignite would lock in the link. Because, dude, if Ling is free, you're going to be hesitant to pick that Farsa, but maybe that's why they took their time. Now they have to be really smart about their bans here. Will they ban a tank? Mage this time. It's not even Gozu that's going for the first pick. After the after ban. They're going to be batting out the Kufra. Safe pick. Uh, safe Mage. bat. Ignite is going to be batting out a uh, Helker. Opens up on Marksman. What is up or with Gozu. the Helker bans? I'm reading. They have 100% ban on Helker this entire day. Ignite Esports. Is it because that once Darkness Falls hits, it's just going to be really hard for you to... Keep yourself alive blind while there's a glorious pathway and maybe the feathered airstrike just looming over you. Is that it? The Nana. The Nana? Think of the Nana? Hovering over the carry. This is gonna help out their backline if they preserve that Molina Cat transformation for the Ling when the Ling dives in. Carry. And they get the carry. A pretty good speed here. Oh! Did they save the best for last? Yasuo's Marsha. Will we see Yasuo go to work? Uh, no, no, it's gonna be Nikai. <laughs> got really excited. Uh, I got really excited. <laughs> I can hear Swarthy and Butters on the other side yeah. at the same time. Even whoa. They went, whoa. There goes the fist bump, and the longer this is fist bump, that didn't connect because they're too far away. And then Gosu just. Being the Gosu that they are. The spiritual Whoa. fist bump. It's not a thing. Gosu or Ignite Esports. Aruga. We haven't been doing this much, but let's do a quick rundown. Escanor on the Cho team, on the high loss basic, on the... All that's oh, on. That's... Kiki, dangerously low on HP. Gonna be forced to use an early flicker. Deep oh, down into chasing. enemy lines, not gonna be able to toss the founder his way out of there. Oh, He's gonna go so be the sacrificial lamb here for Gosu. Gosu's gonna go down. Gosu's oh. gonna go down with one kill. Yeah. They're not gonna go down. Kiki's gonna go down instead. Continue on with your introductions, my kind sir. Basic with the farsa, unseen with the nana, and big fluffy bunny over on the carry. And of course, over the side of the 90s, sports, we got Yasuo on, the jar. on that jar. Oh, wait, Ling right. has to be careful here. Saksa! That's two kills already for Gosu. This is a dream start for them. Sakuragi on that carry Saksa. On that Ling. Ison on that Akaja. And Kiki on that yeah. Akai. Akai. Sakuragi now with his Kimi. Will he be able to have another great game here? Will he be able to land another sweet three-pointer? Both casters now. If you're somehow watching both three streams, you are on our feet for these two teams who gave it their all. Sadly, only one of them will make it into the regular season. It's Gosu and Ignite playing how they've been playing. Gosu with a hot, aggressive start. Ignite now, how will they answer? Oh no, but Kiki gets caught off again. Quick stun there from Deep. Able to toss a pounder away. Able to uh, make it out alive. They're gonna be playing it pretty chill. You'll see airstrike by basics Ooh, just target. clearing out the minion waves. Skanor going on a duel here against his own self. Look. His mirror of his past. You look so familiar to me. Who are you? <laughs> He's gonna go up against uh, Yasuo there, but it is a three-man stack over the top lane. Ignite Esports though manning a four-man stack over to the bottom lane. Not gonna be in a numbers advantage Maybe here. That. Goes uh goes to I like turning into a Totoro there, real quick. The both teams are rotating so well now. Isan though, oh, having oh, to pincher, flicker away. A pincher, a big pincher there. Deep, deep, gonna go for Isan. Gets the stun connection. Gets the, the kill. kill. And 
basic now using Feathered Air Strike from a bush, but he is not going to be able to do enough damage there. And Gosu once again making the most out of a situation, getting their third kill. Ignite not yet on the board, but they might find it soon. But it is going to be hard against this Gosu lineup. A lot of tank, a lot of space. Kiki getting really low. Hurricane Dance over there to deep just to displace him. Basic using that Feathered Air Strike just to keep the rest of Ignite Esports away to keep deep alive. Basic is going to be repositioning himself back into the middle lane. Top lane is getting pinged. It's going to be a response there from Hylos from deep. Let's see, he's going to be uh, pushing this bottom lane along with carry. That pink fluffy bunny. Good plan here, but they have to respect the presence of the Ling. It looks like they might be able to get this tower, and they do. The first tower goes to the side of Gosu. Soxa now. Oh, they're trapped. Nice they're kind of faced out. Big fluffy it. bunny in danger. Tempest blazes oh. off, and they get the kill on the carry. Finally, Ignite Esports on the board. That's going to be a trade kill on that Kaja. Oh, but the turtle is stolen by Ignite Esports, and it's going to go to Kimi as well. Sakuragi once again for the three. Bang! Getting the steal onto the Lord. Absolutely spicy. Sakuragi getting another key objective steal there with a maximum charge. Unseen now, just really harassing the sling with the Nana. I never thought I'd say that. Oh, Nana. Oh, that's oh, the name. Oh, oh na, na, na. Na. Unseen's the name, name, but the mid lane getting pushed out here by Ignite Esports. They're taking the reins away from Gosu. Just trying to even out the uh, momentum here, but map control is still in favor of Gosu. And kill advantage. It's just a 2,000 gold lead, though. And you see there in the top lane, Escanor just pushing. Oh no, Unseen oh. gets caught off. Gets so much damage. 50% down. But Unseen somehow still stays alive. I'm pretty sure he still has his passive. He's going to be able to put down the ult. But it's not going to be enough to keep them back. The tower still stays alive. Oh, and Sakuragi gets picked off with a great rotation by Deep. Getting him with the stun. But Saxon now in the middle lane. Looks like he might try to get revenge there. No, he won't. He'll back off. Sakuragi not able to do the turn that up. Fades away. 360 dunk able to survive that not going to be able to survive that encounter but this mid lane though is going to be sieged up by gosu and skanor is just going to be focusing all his attention towards that turret jeet kundo or shinpo into a different position go for oh gateway yeah. of the dragon but that's Ooh. gonna be the denied hurricane that as well against the jeet kundo then there's the tempest blades. blades connects onto escanor not going to be enough though the damage is not there yet Darn. They're going to be backing off one turn and disengage. More than enough for Gosu. That is why they picked the Nana here. They have two, make that three strong divers in as in the Yasuo's jawhead, in the Ling, and on that Akai, that stuffed cat from Unseen, just stopping that hurricane dance. It was already happening, but they were able to stop it with that. Don't, do not underestimate this Nana pick, folks. That's it, me to be a 4v5 situation. Oh, he's gonna course, get the turtle. The turtle's gonna be secured by this no, carry. No steals by Sakuragi this time around because Sakuragi's in the bottom. Looks like they might be able to trade it though. At least they'll be able to get Escanor because the turret is breaking down. But they do not have the minion wave to assist them, so they're just gonna try to get that crab. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Gosu doing the same. Able to get this crab uncontested. Ling is nearby, but they do not know. Oh, okay, in the back lines. Be careful here. Deep runs into Yasuo. It's um, in too deep. Deep is going to move to the bottom lane because the bottom lane turret is dangerously low. Turtle's going to be spawning about 80 Ooh. seconds. That's the kill onto a guy. The flicker does not work for Iso. Oh, mega kill with the a flame shot. The lead recycle bin. Out of there. As well. And the Ling goes down, but Nana goes down. The response here by Ignite. It's three for one, at least. At least they get that one kill, but basic with a feathered airstrike. Sakuragi doing a lot it of damage to me. Raptor's machete as well. A big fluffy, but uh, think fluffy bunny. Escanor with the blade of despair. Mid lane turret gonna go down as well as the bottom lane tier two turret. This is Gosu once again applying a lot of pressure. I think Ignite Esport is slowly losing their touch in this game. Endless battle finally being picked up by Yasuo. Gosu now, able to pull off this amazing Cho split push we've been seeing all throughout the day. Amazing fighter split pushes, but especially on Cho. 
I feel like if we look at the numbers here, Cho has a pretty high win rate throughout the day. Just doing work. All these people on their fighters, fight their dare strike hits. They're not going to be able to get that steal on the buff because Sakuragi just using maximum charge just to lock it down. They almost did get it though, that maximum. Uh, that flame shot was just a bit out of reach. Oh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, they're going to try to go for Escanor here. Escanor have to back out here. A little bit in trouble, but... Nano's battle on this Oxa. That gives Gosu the positional advantage for this turtle just to take it free. Yep. No contest from... Ling as well. And that is just the drawing power of Cho into another lane because four of them went to top just to stop him or to scare him off. But while all that while that happened, they just gave away the turtle. And Deep driving oh, in too no. deep. And he's trying to keep himself alive, but he's gonna get taken out and seen. Gonna be backing off. Um, a slight opening here from United Esports, they can capitalize on that. But this is still a 7,000 gold lead by Gosu, not a gold lead that you want at eight at the 8 minute mark. We have been seeing this situation. Oh no! Oh no! Unseen! Dance. He has the cat. He'll hurricane be able dance. to get the passive away. He might be able to get away here. Big Fluffy Bunny getting all the damage oh, in the world. Dance. Feathered airstrike. Hurricane Dance has been bombed! Come and he has the kill Come on. on Kiki! There goes the tag for Ignite Esports. And this might open up the top lane here for Gosu. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, Jawhead gets the bottom lane turn. But Saksa diving in. Flame shot back. Tempest. And using Flame Tempest to get away. Yeah, nothing wrong about that, but Basic is being a mortar here. Ooh, oh, man, some like, charge hits. But Pink Fluffy Bunny got the golden sap at the nine minute mark. Not bad timing. Not a bad timing there for him. And he can start shredding the HP of Jawhead here. And es Kada. Especially him being three, two levels up to most of the members of Ignite Esports here. This is going to be really a really delicate situation here for Ignite Esports. We're going to look for great timing from the Ling. And even greater positioning here from the Kimi. Oh, but they get the stun on Yasuo. And he gets wiped out from the face of the earth. There goes another kill in favor for Gosu. And Kiki, not going to be a good spot. Goes for the blender. Sounds of powder. Hurricane oh, Death. Basic. Basic. Very basic. But the Tempest Blaze does not connect. He became. But at least he's he gets like the a kill. bird. He's going to fly away. He doesn't know where his base is. He just went straight to the other side of the wall. He gets the kill on Basic, though. 4 1 and 5. This farce of having a tremendous game. And. Now we see here, if you do not pick up your flame shots, pick up your flame shots, consider it is a good way to knock back your enemies and provide yourself just a little bit of space, especially if you're a mage. Mm -hmm. That couple of units away a person is, is just going to be the decider, the life or death situation for you. The game decider as well. Exactly. Speaking of game decider, this first lord might just decide the mid game for us. Escanor, going to work. Sneaky. Oh, that's great. They pull away the jawhead from the situation just a little bit, but Gosu not going for the slow kill, trying to get a pick off first and then going in. Might actually go for Kaja. Kaja extremely low level here. Just turned level 10. Unseen providing the space. Sun is there though. Considering flickering in, but there goes Deep with the cutoff. Will they be able to get the slow? Here comes Eskinor for the help. You know the top oh, lane, it's here a goes basic. It is a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. Gordy's pathway has been committed. Isan tries to get basic, but he oh. hasn't been able to get it. Oh no! So over oh, the knock the up from the Lord! The knock up from the Lord! The six man for Gosu helps them out! But Ignite Esports is not gonna be able to capitalize on that. They are gonna be forcing Sakuragi and Yasuo back and Yasuo! Triple oh, kill. triple kill here! Core! The pink fluffy buddy and Sakuragi is gonna be the only person left alive. He's so he makes it out alive. Survives, but oh my goodness, there's a lot of time. Gosu might finally end this. Gosu, will they be the first team to go Sakuragi into FPS? He's, he's defending. Can he do it? He's going to do it. Look at that. He's he survived. He's, he's down. down. He's going to go to the back. Gosu. Gosu is going into the block. To the block. You can't hear that. I'm losing my words. I'm out of touch there. Who the first team to go into the regular season?